Taking a look at the metals markets today, I want to focus on silver. Uh, both the precious metals, gold and silver, moving significantly higher today. But silver, the bigger mover at about 2.5% up on the day. Currently right around the 1815 level for that September contract. We are seeing some rolling of positions into December as well as we're moving through that cycle right now. Uh, looking at the range, so that's the top end of the range. I think we saw a high of around 18 17 so very close to the top end of the range 1761 to start so again a significant move higher in the silver complex today looking at some of the driving factors so we did see a reversal in the equity markets intraday i think that's partially responsible for keeping this bid underneath the silver market. Also, those global tensions continue to reverberate through the market as well. We got a little bit of a reprieve yesterday, but still in the equity markets, I should say, but silver and gold were continuing to build on this recent strength. And now with the equity markets wavering a little bit today, we saw further strength in the silver market, pushing it up higher here towards the top end of the range, like I indicated for the last couple of years. Now, looking at some of the driving factors outside of the uh, equity markets and maybe some of the global tensions, let's focus on the Fed as well. Now, the Fed indicated that uh, you know they're going to be accommodative. The market's predicting now after F Fed Chairman Powell's speech last Friday that they are going to move again in September. And if that's the case, then those precious metals become more attractive with each incremental decrease in interest rates. And I think that's another factor here as we're seeing these metals become more of becoming viewed more so as a safe haven play uh, as we see interest rates going lower again that makes them even more attractive and I think when you see the global rates continuing the trend lower into negative ground and the U.S. rates now on a trajectory to go lower that you're going to see this bid persist under both the silver markets and the gold markets moving forward.